What's up, A Squad? It's your girl, Heather, back, baby, back for another video. We are on day two. Me and the husband's going out to the stores today and try to see what we can get. You know, we went out yesterday to Walmart. We went to Rite Aid. We went to, what else we got, honey? Walmart, right? Oh, John Eagle. And when I tell you, there was hardly no food. Well, there was no food, like no meat in the meat section. There was no toilet paper, no paper towels. John Eagle at Waterworks in my city in Pittsburgh, they were limiting how many supplies you can get. They were actually putting out um, like three items per family, basically. They was only letting people get like three items per family. They was restocking their shelves. They're closing their stores now. Instead of it being 24 hours, which it normally is, they're closing their stores at 10 at night so they can restock the shelves at night before everybody come in and just grab it all off the shelves before they can even stock it, which I think is really smart. So guys, we're on round two. I'm about to go get my prescription from John Eagle today, but we're gonna do some shopping out at Sam's Club, see if they got some meat and some juice, you know, just some little basic supplies. We did end up getting a lot of water. We had to go to Rite Aid and we got some water from Walmart. And I did get some water from John Eagle. So we got a nice little supply of water. We got some Kleenex because when there's no tissue, you know, the next best thing is to get some facial Kleenex. You know, you blow your nose with it, you can wipe your butt with it. Baby wipes. And baby wipes. I got unscented baby wipes for the girls, for myself and the girls, you know, the hoo-ha, a little sensitive, so you can't be putting all that scented stuff down there. But I definitely made an effort to get some um, unscented baby wipes. I'm not, and some flushable wipes. I'm not gonna flush the baby wipes. We got a container for that in the bathroom. And then the flushable wipes, you know, it just depends. I don't wanna flush them. We'll see what happens, but yeah. So I did get us some stockpile stuff and I'm not really worried about what's going on out here today, but since everybody else is like making it a problem. So now I'm forced to get stuff for my family. So we won't run out. So we are on our way today to get a few things and I will be back, um, show y'all what's on the shelves today. It's Sunday. It is, what's today's date? I don't even know. But anyway, it's Sunday, March the 15th or so. And um, I'll show y'all what's in these stores. I did do a short video on my Instagram yesterday just showing what was in the stores, which was nothing. So I will show you guys again today what's out here. But good luck to everybody. Hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. And, you know, just wash your hands, guys. It's really important to wash your hands and cough inside of your arm, you know, not out in the air. So it's really important. You know, y'all know I work for UPMC. I'm a healthcare um, professional. So, you know, just little tips to keep yourselves safe out here, guys. But I'll be back when we get to the store. All right, guys, we just got the Sam's Club and we are about to go in here and see what they got. I got my gloves, guys. I ain't gonna be playing about all that sanitization and all with they got wipes for the quartz and all that stuff. I got gloves on, I'm not even playing. So this is my preventive measure and I got my hand sanitizer in my purse along with the gloves. I got more than one pair because you know what I'm saying? You gotta change off every store you go to. You gotta switch it up. So we're going to Walmart, we're out Pittsburgh Mills, we're going to Walmart next after the Sam's Club, getting a few things. So we shall see you guys in the store and see what they got. All right guys, so we are in here. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Thank you. I'll be the spray for you. You're right ahead. Splash you up to you. It's all right. Spray in the cart, guys, to make sure it's clean. Nice thank, thank you, thank you. Oh, All right, yeah. so the guy, when you come into Walmart, or excuse me, when you come into Sam's Club, he sprays the cart with a sanitizer and wipes it off for you because they don't have any wipes, which I think is great. But I still got my gloves as my preventative measure. <laughs> so that's awesome. No. We are out. My husband is looking at TVs again, y'all. He's always at the TV aisle, y'all. Just telling y'all. TVs all day. Every single time we come in here, he's on the TV aisle. Right? He's always on the TVs. Alright guys, I had to like stop home because like we're here for a purpose. We want the TV. We about to have no food. So yeah, we gotta like get people on track. This is not a normal Sam's Club run. This is a survival run. <laughs> 
Straight survival with the fittest right now. You gotta make sure you got everything you need up in here. They look pretty well stocked on clothes, so if you're running out of clothes, you got a sound club, you ain't gonna have to worry about them putting the clothes on your body. Since you wanna change every time you try something. Because they got the little towel, 9.98, for the uh, beach towel. Yeah, we're strictly going to the meat owl. That's what we came in here for, and the juice owl. Because I need juice to take my medicine. And the other stores there really have what we wanted, so we improvise. And it looks a little empty over here by the meat owl. I'm already keeping it. It doesn't look like there's much. We probably should have been out here at 8 o'clock <laughs> when they opened it. They got a lot of pop, guys. We ain't got no water yet, but they got a lot of pop. So if you need some pop, you in good shape of sound for them. Yeah, there's absolutely no chicken out. No chicken. Is there some deer pork down there? Oh, that. I got some of that. I uh, tell it. Color, whatever, Pierre, Pierre. Okay, so guys, so there's no EV on water. There's no deer pork. They have their sound club, purified water, and they up the price. Look at that. 80. Oh, because they're little ones. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on right now there's no water there's no water they got you know different kinds of water should be like different kinds of waters but i am a deer park drinker so oh, we're not getting no damn mountain dew oh, yeah. All those fellas, mountain dew. he wants to get mountain dew guys we're not doing that like this is 100 percent ridiculous but you know, we gotta do, we gotta do. I mean, on the water cook, they got deer park flavored water. I would drink it, shit. It's still spring water, it's flavored, but I would definitely drink it. Water's water, right? There ain't no bread. That's crazy, and it's sparkling water too, it's in there. But they got the big jugs out there. Like, here, come get these jugs of water. They got purified water. So pretty much, guys, there's no water. So here's Gisto Bay. We won't get, um, hopefully, that's the grape juice. a big thing of apple juice. Get the grape though. I'm saying we can I can I can drink the grape. I just need something you know to take my medicine up. I don't know what an apple juice is but let's go see. Yeah. They got these little bottles of apple juice right here little bottles. Not really what I'm looking for. We don't got no big bottles of like this regular apple juice nowhere. If I can drink the cranberry juice. take my medicine with so it'll all work out okay, let me see. hold on is it cocktail 
Oh no, it's cocktail. I don't want that. I want the ocean spray 100% juice. That's all I ain't got nothing that, huh? It's different. Yeah, it's huge difference like the cocktail is not really 100 percent fruit juice it's just yeah, like it's you know, concentration well that's okay um we'll come back over here if we need to i need to get over here for this week this is the problem like there's hardly nothing no they don't look like they stopped that thing then so worst case scenario we got a pack of juice boxes No bread. Very little chicken. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, 100% insane. And I don't even want to eat a lot of beef. Couple packs of chicken left, guys. So we are about to capitalize and get like three at 40 pitches. Excuse me. get some to tag around with chicken and I'm gonna try to see if they got some ground beef with some ground turkey because I want to make chili you know get something that's gonna last Think of just me. I gotta think of the kids because you know what I'm saying we gotta feed them too. Let me see. They got some whole chicken over here, like two left. Maybe some more kielbasa's or something. Now that's two ground turkey. That's all we got. I know y'all don't love it, but. Chili with, I mean, chili. I'm gonna make some spaghetti with this. Huh? Yeah, 
essay and I need to put some money. Well, we gotta get it because I can make spaghetti with this and make that be a nice meal for the house. Y'all ain't gonna know the difference. We're gonna make it work. Period. Period. This is about to be like a $250 bill on my credit card, y'all, but we need it, so. Because now everybody's making me go into survival mode because they're buying up everything. Two big bags, 10 pound things of potatoes, because like I said, potatoes, you can do a lot with potatoes. 
potato soup. A lot. So we got to get the fish sticks because you know fish sticks can be a super duper meal. I eat fish sticks, but get the fish sticks. Go so back and be a meal. Some ham fries and fish sticks. I don't know. That, so. We can make it work with some fish sticks. Guys. Some ketchup. We're gonna get a big thing of ketchup. Ice and beans. Uh, like that. Uh, look at them. We're going to paper towels. Like, I'm so thinking. We ain't got no hamburger meat, but we could probably get a thing of beef. Um, what's it called? A patty? Oh, they got a 10-pound thing. That's a lot of pounds of hamburger. I was thinking I would probably eat it. It's all out. I don't know if we got this one though. What is that? Philly cheese steak? That's too much. Huh? What? That's too much, man. That's way, 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 way too much. So that's way too much. I don't know. We should get these beef patties to the $24.98. We're going to Walmart, but I doubt that this looks bad over here. I can just imagine what Walmart looks like. Mm -hmm. They got beef hot dogs, but that's $14.98. Mm -hmm. The hot dogs is $14.98. Oh, no, that's the burger. Yeah. The oh, shoot, $24 for the beef hot dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to get the paper towels? They're $20. It says limit two per member. You want to get them? Mm -hmm. We ain't got no more at the house but the ones we got yesterday. We only need one. We got some at the house. Let somebody else get some. So I'm going to show you guys what we got when we're done because this video is about to be super long while y'all watch a shop. Um, so I'm going to just show you guys what we get, what we got over the last two days when we get home. So that way you guys can see everything that we got for our household. And hopefully you guys are going to say so we'll back. All right, A Squad, we are home. And I just want to show you guys what we've gotten over the last two days, guys. We got a lot of stuff. So, I mean, just starting over here, we got some regular paper towels. We got some um, dish rags, guys, because, you know, worst case scenario, if you run out of toilet paper, you're going to wash your butt. So we got a lot of paper towels. We got some Kleenex, a couple boxes of these Kleenexes, y'all. Paper plates. We got like four to five of these alcohol bottles, guys. Cause you know, this alcohol will kill germs. Vinegar also will kill germs. My cousin from the army, he's been in the army for over 30 years, 40 years. And you know, he knows all the inside scoops. So he was like, use vinegar, 2% um, bleach or whatever. But anyway. Just, you know, got my personals, guys, because, you know, you got to stock up on that womanly stuff, too, because I ain't planning on going outside. Got some regular baby wipes, guys. We ain't got no babies in the house, but when it get real, you know what I'm saying, you can use wipes to clean the um, bottom pieces. So, you know, that's going to keep us all good. We got some more paper towels. I mean, Kleenex here, guys, because this is just as good as toilet paper, because there's no toilet paper in the store, so... You know, we got some chicken. We went to Sam's Club today. And we got like three of these big packs of chicken. We got a bunch of water over here, guys. You see, I got cases of water. Cases. I was not playing around. All this water. We got some stands. Me and my husband's gonna put these together to store some of the stuff in the basement. We got some bread. We got some miscellaneous items like some cake. I'm gonna try to convince my daughter to make this cake for us. You know, she the she the baker. I got some carrot cake and I got some yellow cake. I got some icing. Well, she's informed now. We need you to cook up this cake. We got some crackers because I'm making some tuna macaroni salad this week, guys. So we got them Ritz crackers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and don't get it twisted. I got the last pack. And when I say the last pack, this was the last pack in the store, y'all. 
of the pack of Clorox bleach. And a nice gentleman, I do not know his name, guys, but he gave us one of his pine saw, I mean, light saws. He had like eight bottles and I had forgot to grab some. So the guy was real nice. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. But we got some bread. The guy was nice, y'all. He gave me his pine. He said, like, don't tell my wife, but he did. He hooked us up. So let me take y'all into the other room, guys, because we got some Ziploc bags to store a lot of this food. We got some bacon. This has got like three, four packs of, well, three individual packs. We got some turkey ground beef, or excuse me, turkey ground, well, tur ground turkey. Shoot, look at me getting tongue tied. And we got some juice, big thing of bounty, ketchup. We got some lemon juice. I got some taco seasoning, guys. I got some, I can't believe it's not butter. Two things of this taco sauce, guys. I got a hot and a mild. So I got two of those. We got some fish up in here, some spaghetti sauce. What else we got in here? My husband got some deodorant. We got some salt. I got some stuff to make some mac and cheese. You know, I make my own mac and cheese. So I'm going to be making that for the household. Got some salt and all that. Uh, more spaghetti sauce in this bag, guys. I just got home. I'm not trying to pull all this stuff out. But we got some um, eggs, y'all. This is seven and a half dozen eggs. I don't even know what we're storing these eggs, but we're going to use them. I'm going to be making a lot of breakfast. We got some noodles, two pack of elbows. I'm doing the spaghetti tonight, so I'm going to use both of these packs or maybe one and some panini. And we got a big five pound thing of sugar. We got two, look, we got more paper towels. We got two 10 pound things of potatoes. I got some taco shells. I got two of these. From the store we got some butter we got four apple juices y'all because i need juice to take my medicine with so we got four apple juices i got more cake guys with icing yellow cake with some icing i got some ground beef for the spaghetti tonight because i was going to do turkey my husband was like no i don't want it they ain't having no regular rice in the store guys so we got this rice a couple packs of those yeah he's a brat and we got some hell of a good dip because my husband loves his dip with his chips. And then we got some of these packets of rice and noodles. We got some chips to go with my guac because I had to get me some guac today. And we got a couple bottles of, sorry guys, a couple bottles of bleach. To, um, make sure that you know we got some cleaning supplies for the household got that bleach we got a big thing of Lowry seasoning salt here because you know that that seasoning got some syrup some on your mama on your mama syrup we got another big thing of pine salt we got one the other day but this was the last pine salt so I've been getting lucky because we got this big thing of pine salt this was the last one in the store so I got that we got some oil so I can fry stuff with. And we did get three bleaches, y'all. We got this big thing of chicken. This is a 20 pound or 10 pound thing of chicken. And we got a big thing of fish sticks. We got some salad because I'm going to be making salad for my family. You know, we're going to have some steak salad, maybe some chicken salad. I got the ginger ale bowl, guys. This is really good if you haven't tried this. It's a stronger, more um, potent ginger ale. But it's delicious. Like, it's really strong, but it's good. We got some brown gravy. I got me some more guac because, you know, I love my guac. And I got some limes already in the refrigerator because I add limes to this, lime juice to this, you know, to kind of make it more tangy. We got some um, tartar sauce for my husband to eat with the um, fish sticks because I eat it with ketchup or whatever. He like that. So, I'm trying to think. We got an Amazon haul coming in the next day or two as well. So, we got the Ziploc bags. I don't know if I showed y'all that. But, that's pretty much it, guys. So, this concludes our grocery haul for the last two days. Going to Sam's Club and Walmart and John Eagle. Those are the three stores we went to. You know, everything came up to about 400 and some dollars. But, it was well worth it. We won't have to go grocery shopping for like the next 30 days or probably more. And, um... That's it. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel, guys, to the A-Squad channel so y'all can see more video. 
And also make sure you guys hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified of more videos that I shoot. But thank you guys so much for watching again and have a really good day. And guys, stay safe out there. Bye.